For weeks, protesters in New York City have made their opposition known to possible price hikes for rent-stabilized apartments. Every year, the city's rent guideline board sets a percentage limit on how much landlords can raise the price of rent-stabilized apartments. On Thursday, they'll vote to raise the cap anywhere from 2 to 7 percent, depending on the lease length. At recent public hearings, landlords and renters have been bitterly divided on the vote. If you guys do decide to raise the rent, I can guarantee you probably a week after you do that, I will be homeless. So I'm just asking that you please don't raise the rent. Let's support tenants by enabling their landlords to maintain and enhance their homes for future generations by voting for reasonable RGB increases. For New Yorkers who don't live in rent-stabilized apartments, data from the National Low-Income Housing Coalition found minimum wage workers need to work at least 109 hours a week to afford a studio apartment in the city. The problem is echoed around the country. Zillow's latest observed rent index says rent in May was nearly 5% higher than it was last year, with typical rent costing over $2,000 a month. And according to the NLIHC, there isn't a single state where low-wage earners can afford median rent on a two-bedroom apartment. But landlords across the country are struggling against inflation to afford to maintain their properties. Frankly, I don't see why the government at all should be telling a landlord what the criteria should be. To put the high rent into perspective, the NLIHC says a full-time worker needs to make nearly $24 an hour to afford a one-bedroom home in their area. That's nearly triple the federal minimum wage, which hasn't budged from $7.25 an hour in years. Some renters can't keep up even in states with a $15 an hour minimum wage, like in Washington, where a worker needs to earn over $36 an hour to afford a two-bedroom rental. In January, the White House released what it calls a renter's bill of rights, which could limit egregious rent increases on properties with federal mortgages and establish eviction prevention and relief. But the trade group, the National Apartment Association, says it's best to leave housing decisions to each individual rental market. Alex Miller, Scripps News, New York.